so I identify as a tugboat or a fishing vessel, if you um, prefer. Mm-hmm. Um, I just hope during the, the the song that Tom McDonald doesn't tell me I don't exist. Um, but I mean, it's okay. I've come to terms with the fact that I don't exist, um, which is perfectly okay. It's okay to not exist. Um, me personally, uh, I identify as an attack helicopter, and um, oh. the traumas that you take in, you know, when you're flown into battle and you have to shoot at people, it's very painful. The you know, crash, especially all the, the people crash. you have to let inside of you, you know, it's just uncomfortable. Mm, you know? yeah, it feels like some sort of people some inside sort of me. You know, you know, yeah. It just feels like, like some ten sort of inside like, of you at once. Like wow, that's a lot of people. It just feels like something you know, like it's just not meant for me. But it's also what I am, and it's my truth, and it's my trauma. And I'm I want to live that, and I want to live my truth, my truth. I want to live my truth. Anyway, I don't know what that well, stuff. Well, my pronouns, <laughs> my pronouns are well. I can't say the first half of the pronoun. Because I'll get banned. Uh, the second half is got. Um, slash got. You can figure out what the first half is. Uh, um, you can look it up. You know, just look up what do tugboats identify as. What are their pronouns? Um, and you will see that um, tugboats have a very defined. My first um, pronoun is is straight. Um, and my other pronoun is not gay. So you pick. You know, like, yeah. He prefers either. Either either or. As long as I'm either it's straight confusing. or not gay. As, lo- as long as I'm either straight or not gay, I'm cool. That was a very long intro. Can anyway, guys, today, hopefully this? you enjoyed it or you skipped to a timestamp. If you did, hi, you clicked it. Oh, no. that what, Make a second. No, you know what? Just fuck it. Uh, we're no, reacting they, to Tom McDonald they, the Machine. They, they definitely they want to see a tugboat and an attack helicopter react to Tom McDonald. This is what they want. This is what they want. We this know what, what the viewers want. We know what the market is. We were looking over all the stats. We know exactly who we are. Look at Tom is. looking at us. He's looking at us like, hey, Mr. Tugboat. Hey, Mr. Attack Helicopter. You ready for some rapping? And we're like, yes, Mr. McDonald. Yes. And we're like, actually, my pronouns are... No, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay, let's start with that. We're not all like right. that. Tom McDonald, the machine. Uh, we, we're not our last Tom like McDonald reaction was uh, the one he did with Ben Shapiro. I'm pretty familiar with Tom McDonald. Dylan's pretty familiar with Tom McDonald. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, yeah. yeah. Alright, so, um, we got through the first 38 seconds, and then, um, the Streamlabs fucked out. So, um, we're back here. Oh, we man. didn't really say too much, um, Damn it. because we realized pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, we'll just spit it back. Here we are. Go. Yep. Um, everybody cross your fingers, nothing fucks out again. Uh, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Sorry, Mr. McDonald. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. Why the hell can't I just be American without getting political? The system gon' suppress us all. They don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture, Nazis, all they're missing exactly. is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks they're disadvantaged. Tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system and now they burn in books in untraditional ways that has traded newspapers for the digital age now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames that has changed the information and the truth gets erased i want to stop for a second and say that sonically sounding this has got to be one of tom mcdonald's best like sonically sounding rap song because sometimes like that's the only issue I'll, I'll, i have occasionally with tom mcdonald is just like that i won't be an actual like a fan of this song itself now that's obviously just it's subjective it's preference but I'm usually a, a, a big fan of what he's saying, and in this song especially, I think that this is really well put together. Actually, I mean, actually, for me, it's the same because we're reacting. I'm being dead ass too. My opinion feels like a broken record, and I, honestly, I feel like you guys, because um, a few of you commented that last time or whatever, like you were annoyed that we said, "Oh, it's just another Tom McDonald song." You're like, "Yeah, but he he's got to get the message through." But at the same time, like, it's not just what he's saying. He does a lot of his songs do just audibly sound the same as well there's not really much structure difference not and really we're not shitting i'm not i'm not about him. that's not, I'm shitting, not on shitting on it. it because i think it's smart but i'm saying like in preference of like what i would put on a playlist i'll listen to something and i'll go does that is that your tingle my ear i know it sounds a really gay way to say that oh that, there goes cancels my bad i'm canceled now <laughs> i reacted one time mcdonald's song and here i am saying dumb shit <laughs> okay <laughs> fuck it uh okay um uh but yeah no it I'm not shitting on that. I just 
more so addressing it. We're kind of reacting and reviewing at the same time and just talking and being ourselves. If we left something like that out, we would be just sitting here going, oh, Tom McDonald, and just blindly applauding it, which we're you not You know, I agree that. with everything he's saying. It's just like, a, uh, oh, again, every... Keep going. Every song we have from him kind of feels like it's just like, okay... At least when it's a political, when it's a non-political one, it's it's very different. But like whenever we get a political song from Tom, it's like okay, mm -hmm. like how is he gonna say it this time? No, we know he it's, doesn't it's always. What's do he gonna say? Way. It's how's he gonna say it? No, like but the thing is, he goes kind of in phases. Like he'll do like a, a stint where he'll do I like wish. ten political Please. songs in a row, and then he'll have a break and he'll say like, right, I'm not doing more political songs for a while, guys. I'm taking a break from it. He did actually did that right before, and then his comeback political song was <laughs> with Ben Shapiro. And that Smart. did, I mean, I say that did well. It was his biggest debut to date um, in terms of sales and streaming and everything, really. It was just ginormous. I can sense the kind um, of dream. You, you know what debuted top 20 on Billboard, right? <laughs> it did? Top 20. It, out, it outperformed Nicki Minaj and Justin Timberlake with their debuts that week. The only person who outdid his thing was song? Nicki Minaj. Is that his highest charting yeah, song? Yeah, by ever? far. By far. The, the last highest he got was like 70-something. He charted at 16 this time. Damn. Shout out That's Tommy just on the Dow. Hot 100. Proud he, of you. Proud of you. He gets they number one him. on They snaked him out of the albums. They snaked him out of the number one album. With, uh, Adam oh, Adam yeah, Adam. no. He should have had multiple number one albums. <laughs> like. So they, they fucked him out of those. So it's about time he got some sort of credit for it. Yeah. Working hard and pressing. But I'm yeah. happy. Honestly, the best part of all of it was just watching how everyone got pissed off at it. He's fucking smart, though. If you look at his, like, strategy marketing-wise, not only that, but just his business strategy of how to Facts, make the, the, the Fax was his biggest a, song because it was his best marketed on, song. stupid way. Physical copies and shit. The reason it was his best... It, 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 it was just his best marketed. The yeah. promotion for it was pretty much spot on. With this one, I mean, no, this one's not going to do numbers of facts. Obviously, it's not going to. It has not got the Ben Shapiro co-sign necessarily. But the Daily Wire are now more turned on to his radar, if that makes sense. They, I think they're going to do more reaction and more collaboration with him. Here. I don't think the Ben Shapiro is going to be the last you see of anyone from Daily Wire on shit. Keep in mind, like, Michael Knowles plays ukulele, and they've even joked about it, like, um... Because Michael also did an interview with Tom, and he said, like, hey, would I be able to play ukulele on one of your songs? And Tom hinted it the same way that he hinted with Ben Shapiro about rapping. So I wouldn't put that past him. Um, Brett Cooper anyway, plays guitar. Yeah, and we've, we've gone on for this. We should probably, I hate to interrupt you, but we should probably give it. <laughs> I want to let you know for, uh, for concept that's 37 seconds of the song we recorded for five minutes. Now the facts can be deleted with no physical flame. Yeah, that's why I said <laughs> Sorry, guys. And the truth gets erased. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not awake. We know the system has failed us, and now the media's fake. I swear the government hates us, having opinions is dangerous. The system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. I am not Republican, I am not a liberal, progressive, okay. traditional. Can I just say? He said it open that, up somewhere. Yeah. That is one of his best choruses. Oh, yeah, it's definitely, it definitely... That is one of the best choruses I've heard from him. That's mm -hmm. very unique compared to a lot of his other political songs, choruses, yeah. and stuff. Like, usually he'll do the same, like, dun 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 like, flow. Really big but instead and... there, he did, a, he, did, he did a much different style, like, a, like a different vocal style overall. Different, it sounded like different effects over it as well, a much different melody to it. It was structured uniquely compared to his other core. I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of that one. Yeah, that's, me too. That's pretty good. Hold on. Yeah. Liberal, progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. They label people red. Let me go back to that liberal, one. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill an individual. I'm trying to think. 
I mean, yeah. They label people red or blue dividers. They don't ever help. They want you thinking left or right, so you ain't thinking for yourself. Go ahead and vote, because yes. both the parties are the same side. Two teams, one coach, controlled by the same guys. Left wing, right wing, both help the same bird fly. Brainwashing everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts. Yeah, but I mean, I'd rather be brainwashed and have gas be a dollar than be brainwashed and have it three dollars. <laughs> Just uh, saying. I couldn't have said it. I couldn't, I couldn't have said it better myself. I could have said it. <laughs> That's what I was. It's basically I was gonna get at. Like he, he's right. Like I mean, I was one of the first people to kind of be like, uh, well, my dad and a lot. He's of people... right, but at the same time, there is a difference. Yeah, there, I mean, there is, there is, and there isn't. It. Right. So like, okay, yeah, no, for sure, because one of them. But okay, either way, they're both failing overall on the capabilities they have, and they're both pretty fucking corrupt. And they're really just getting... They're both corrupt. They both try but to control people. They both, here's the deal. They both use tactics or whatever to swing people in their direction, to manipulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. But, but like, at the end of the day, I think you've still got to consider, okay, what is the actual physical outcome that affects me and, like, everyone around me? What is the actual physical outcome of this? Because when, you, when, when you're paying a dollar at the pump versus three dollars at the pump, there's a physical difference affecting your life there. A big difference. And would you rather the would you rather difference. the party that gives you the one dollar or the three dollar? Yeah, exactly. And there's never been a by the way, there's never been a better um time to be talking about this, like for Americans at least, because we're we're in election year now. So we yeah. need to really fucking drive home that point. I think if we could just put like the I feel like we should like Trump. if we could just <laughs> if we could just have like a billboard sign everywhere that just had the gas prices like okay, twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen 2023 because 2024 See, my, my dad's like, my dad's become a bit more of a my dad used to absolutely hate trump even even after like 2020 he still hated he's only started liking him like this year and last year sort of right i might ask him can we get a billboard to put up to piss everyone off I, it's irrelevant for you because where you're from it's not gonna make a fuck it oh, would no, make everybody murdered here yeah <laughs> everybody bad. hates him here yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. like for, for those of you who don't like, know by people the way. in my town who if you guys don't know, because obviously a lot of people I'm not are probably, American. Uh, yeah, he's he's from New Zealand. Uh, we've been friends for like five years, and that's why we make the channel together. Um, but to be fair, Americans po American politics affect everybody eventually down the line. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, I'll still be watching on election night. Like, oh yeah, I might fucking watch that together. That'd be fun. <laughs> um, it might not be. <laughs> it might be election the worst live fucking night ever. <laughs> Election live stream. Okay, all right. Anyway, we're getting far to the point. I want to go back to the first thing I was going to say. I was, just, I was one of the first people, whenever yeah. a lot of people in my family and area, because I live in the South, you know, they eventually, like, I can notice it's like, you know, the red hats. They're like hardcore Trump, Trump this, Trump that. And I was like, okay, he's great. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> Calm, it's getting a little suspect. Like, you guys, you guys act like you want to date him. Like, it was getting a little bit wild. And I was one of the first people to be like, okay, the, but aren't you just doing the same thing they're doing, but in a different way? And, and a lot of people didn't listen to me at first, but a lot of people in my family kind of get that. I'm voting right. Trump because he's got a bigger dick than Biden. I'm not saying Trump's a perfect person at all, but he's a good president, and he does a lot of good shit. And if I have to pick and between somebody who does nothing, he, he, he's honest. People get mad because he says wild stuff, but he was honest at least. He told people what was happening. It reminds me of the speech where he's like, he died like a dog. <laughs> He died like a dog. A Abu, dog. Abu, Bakar, <laughs> Al Baghdadi. It was the great. He's just, dead. The honesty of that. He died like a dog. As much as people make jokes about it, the honesty in that is actually so helpful. And then you got. I sent the in the military, and, and they killed him. They did, and and I and the military general. Oh, he said, Donald, that was very good direction. Okay, can I, can I want to say something before we swap on, all right? We're wasting so much time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you're not, you've And I said, anyway. Tom <laughs> McDonald, I like this guy. All right, he says like... things I like. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the, the best part about that is when he's like, he's like, normal, you know, he's like, normal, normally, you know, you walk in the door, you knock, you knock, and then you walk in. They let you in, you knock, and you walk in. But not these guys, no. I've never seen guys like if They walk straight in. They didn't knock. <laughs> just get all those details. Like, yeah, that's... That's a it's a tactical invasion. That's how that works. <laughs> but it was so much better in that description. I fucking loved it. Uh, also, Dylan, you're gonna have to add more timestamps to this video so people don't have to sit through this shit if they don't want to. Yeah, fat. You do. Yes. Bullshit. You ever seen like? No, I'm saying not that's that's true. But I'm saying that is bullshit that it happens. I got fact checked. No, we're not going another round. That was eight seconds. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. 
Fact checking is such a bullshit concept. It's so bullshit. Let me break this down for you, simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place. You're still a rat, and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. That was a great analogy. That's a really yeah. well done analogy. Doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place. You're still a rat, and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not away. Video's cold, too. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. Divide us because they know that unify we are invincible. All right, I'm not trying to pause again, but this is a serious issue. Some of the people, right? And I could be wrong. It may have changed over the past few months. Some of the people that were involved in the, the January 6th stuff, right? I'm not supportive of it at all, but are still being hailed without, without court. Like, like, that's the problem. Not that they were right or wrong, but they're still being held in jail and they've been yet to give a trial date. They're just keeping them in jail. Now, if I'm wrong, somebody fact check me. <laughs> fact check me down below. <laughs> but <laughs> I remember seeing that very recently. And if that's the case... Not YouTube. If YouTube, case. if you fact check us, um, we will delete this and go to Rumble. Yeah. We're not... Well, maybe... Yeah. Fuck it. You know what? Maybe at this point. Questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. Hey, my pronouns are very real. <laughs> I am, in fact, a tugboat. And I'm an attack helicopter, Tom McDonald. You know what? The video's over. I'll be damned if we have a transphobic. <laughs> just a transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> Government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. For those of you who don't know, it's satirical. I'm <laughs> questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. School teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Can't you see that's how they want you to act? That's called conforming to the norm. You don't need freedom for that. I'm not Republican or liberal or left wing or right leaning. I took the red pills because that's who's fighting for my freedoms. And you don't need to choose to be accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not away. We know the system has failed us and all the media's fake. I swear the government hates us. Having opinions is dangerous. This system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. Yeah, uh, and I think we deserve... I think that hold on, we gotta, hold on, gotta give that its, its due respect. Another great video by Nova, okay, very familiar with both of them, it was a great video. I think, that's never really the okay. worst part. Compared to facts, right, I think facts, <laughs> I'd call it more unique because of the Ben Shapiro stuff. If the I'm being real though, I think unique. this is better. Oh, it's a lot better, it's so much better. Like, and I think this this is some of the best Thomas sounded over political stuff, and I actually really like that, like, last verse there. Oh, yeah, 100%. I think that's one of his best verses I think every part of this, this I think this is um, incredible, incredible. Honestly, I mean, yeah, it feels like it's retrotting old ground. Although he actually... But really, he, he said had, a lot of new stuff in a lot unique. of new... He, had, he said it in a lot of new he, ways, too. The first verse was yeah, a little bit retrotting. It's not, it's not just he said it in a lot of new ways. It wasn't just lyrically. He actually structured certain schemes differently than he usually does. Um, he structured the chorus differently and sung it differently. It was a slightly different sound to what we used to. It's still similar and close enough to where you know it's a Tom McDonald song, but it's like not too close where it's like it's the exact same song. I could yeah. tell this one apart from the rest. And that's honestly a step in the right direction. It, and given, I mean, the last one was also unique as well. So, I mean, hopefully that Tom, I mean, I don't care whether he sticks to the whole political hey, thing fuck or not, it. He, he could end up watching this, to be fair. He could end up watching this at some point because they do watch reactions. <laughs> on a musical <laughs> level. Totally realistic. On a, mu on a musical level, it's I really hope Tom continues in the direction, direction. of like trying exactly. more unique things with his flows and stuff. Swapping up. Because um, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that would actually broaden his audience much better. Because I think part of the reason, yes, he's got a massive audience and yes, oh, he's able plenty. to chart he's got that alone. But I feel like... But I feel like you'd see much, a much more chart presence, 
and b much more just everything if if he focused on the music a little more than what he was yeah. saying for a second and i get that, yeah he probably does but like i think if he took like time because at the moment right he's releasing what a song a week or at least when he's active he's doing a song a week and then it'll go off for a few months but does that mean that he's like completely making the video like uh, the the song and video and everything from so i mean first of all the videos are cold like if i had congratulations to nova shout it, out i don't know that they're making it at the exact same no but if they're making like, it in a week though that's what i'm thinking are they making it in a week i'd guarantee you that well number one you get as an artist right i know this from making music now i haven't done it nearly as consistently as this motherfucker has he's way better at me way better than me but i do know when you start to get a little bit more consistent it starts flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing so he probably yeah naturally works on a song but he moves yeah. at such a fast pace he, he's a he's a full-time artist so he has those yeah. extra th four hours to just spend on music if he just gets in a, a good flow with it so Probably, yeah, but at the same time, I could also see them being, like, how fucking smart he is, having, like, songs lined up and known when they're going to come out, and being well ahead prepared with their videos. But That's I've the also thing, though, he's smart in the sense already. that he knows that what he's doing now so is Bart. working. So how Bart? But I feel like he's missing a few opportunities with risks that he could be taking. Like, like why doesn't he take a, why doesn't he take a minute to, like, craft something completely? I mean, maybe there is. I saw a few singles that weren't political in between that I actually haven't seen yet. There was Blues. one that he did that I forgot about. No, um, was it called Ghost or Ghosts or something? Yeah, Ghost was um, good. I think, okay, hold on. I haven't I've, heard that one. I'm not as familiar. I, Ghost is a love unique. song. So, it was a love song, I think. So I'm just saying, don't shoot me if I say Cause you get on the he video. should you know, try to do something else all right, because and, and be like, oh my god, he made this, he made this, he made this. I'm aware. But... Yeah. I feel like, what if he did that with his political stuff? What if he combined the two? Because everything unique that he's done has been non-political stuff. What if he combined it, did a political song, but made the sound totally fucking different? Like, what if he did an acoustic guitar singing song about politics instead? Imagine imagine that, you know? Wouldn't that be much, like... Anyway, I think we're... I think well we're yeah, I'm with you. I think we're spending a little too, too much time saying what should change and what could have been... Oh buddy um uh, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> buddy I, okay that i don't i need to okay he doesn't understand what recording is um <laughs> anyway uh i think we spent a lot of time saying what could have been changed what blah, blah blah either way i want you guys to understand this and say this directly because we always get comments we know that it's good the way it is and we enjoyed it and we're happy with it um it's just what we do i guess maybe it's because we've made music i don't know it's just the way we think um but if Somehow, uh, either one of them watch this video, whether it be T Tom or no, whatever. Point is, they did great. We love you, no homo. They did great. Yeah, they did great. Keep doing what they're... I want them to keep doing what they're doing. Keep moving in the direction they're moving in. They're no, no, great. actually, Very that's what I'm going to say. Tom, I love you, no tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> no tugboat is hard. Uh, I'd say I love you, no tank helicopter, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. And on that note, Dylan, I think it's just where you say goodbye. I think we've... I think we've... We've stayed our due in these people's time. I got blurred into the abyss. Goodbye. <laughs> My fellas.